Hi everyone, my name is Brie Paisley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Harlow Brothers series and give a little bit of backstory. And then I'm going to talk about what will come next in the series, what books you'll be seeing in the series and talk just a little bit about them. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So before I get started talking about each individual book, I'm gonna take just a moment to talk about the series in a whole. So there are five books in this series. Um, each book has been written or will be written as a standalone. Which, um, I really wanted a series that a reader could pick up any book out of order and still know what was going on. So each book you can read all on its own. One good thing I like about the series as a whole that it is not one set genre through the whole series. And what I mean when I say that is book one is a second chance romance. Book two is romantic comedy. Book three is new adult. Book four will be a military romance. And book five is the only one that I'm not sure which category of romance it will be just yet. But I do like that each book has its own subgenre or it has a different feel. It's not just straight contemporary romance. It does have a lot of different elements and each book is different in its own way. The last thing about the series as a whole is that the entire series is set in Mississippi. I really wanted to write a series set in my hometown because I like the small town romances. I love the Southern accent um, and I really wanted to bring a series that was so focused on mainly family and have a good support system all around. It's all about the family. It's all about your friends, all about finding the love of your life and just getting to experience kind of the Southern hospitality. And I'm really happy with the way the books have turned out so far and I'm really excited to see where the series is going to go. So book one is Carter, the eldest out of the boys. This story really took a different direction than what I originally had planned. For an example, um, Shelby, the lead heroine, her name was not Shelby. Her um, whole entire backstory was a little different. And overall, the storyline was just different. With Carter, um, I pretty much threw my outline out the window and I just wrote what I was feeling because it seemed like every time I went to write something, I was not staying with the outline. It was going in a different direction. The characters were developing differently than I had planned. It turned out the way it was supposed to. And I really enjoy Carter's book, Heartfelt. It's about overcoming struggles, um, not only, you know, especially with Shelby. Shelby has a terrible childhood. She's had a terrible adult life. Carter, you see her grow and see her overcoming those obstacles about love finding its second chance. And that's what I really love about Carter's book. Now in Caden, um, his book was a little different from the rest. Side note here, um, when I first started plotting out the series, it was only supposed to be three books. There was only supposed to be Carter, Caden, and Kaysen. Caleb was not even thought about. Um, he was a character that kind of just fit in later down the road. And Clark was supposed to have been the bad guy, pretty much. I wanted to add a little bit of element of suspense, but the more I realized, you know what, that's not gonna work for me. I really wanna add Clark, and I really want Caleb to come into play at some point. So when I started writing Caden, I always knew that Caden was the jokester. He was laid back and just the type of character that um, always had something funny to say. When you read Caden, or if you have read Caden, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He's always full of himself, always making everyone laugh. And he's just an overall just funny guy or funny character. Um, but I always knew that I wanted him to be that way. For some reason, whenever I thought about Caden, my immediate thought was that, okay, I want him to be more of a funny character. I want him 
to be the one that people go to when they need some sort of like uplifting or some extra happiness thrown in. And, but Caden really did surprise me the most because he really does change in a way. Like he's still funny, but when he meets the heroine, which is Savannah, um, something just changes inside of him. Also see too, if you read Carter, that um, Caden is sort of a player. You know, he doesn't want to settle down. He doesn't want to find the love of his life, but that all changes drastically when he meets Savannah. Another side note here, Savannah was not even a character in the beginning of this plotting of the series either. Um, I cannot talk about really I, I brought her in the way that I did because it is a major spoiler. When I wrote Carter, I had did things in the book that I didn't realize that set me up for future books down the road until after the book was published. In Caleb's book, I really, really loved writing Caleb um, because he's the shy, little nerdy, and he's the baby. He really grew on me like when I was writing him and plotting out his book, um, I was like, man, I really just love his little, his quirks, his shyness, the way that, you know, he's kind of an outsider because he, he is the youngest, but he really grew into himself and I really liked the way that his book turned out. I liked the way that the lead heroine, Bethany, turned out. Um, she is probably the most developed character that I have ever written before in my career because when I started writing Bethany and I just got a sense of her character and all that she went through and the things that to Caleb's book I was like man I really need to do this character justice and it was very easy to write her and her side and see her grow just see her as a whole um, because a lot of people that read Carter, they hated Bethany at first. You take a chance on Caleb, I think I do her justice in the end because I really relate to Bethany. Um, she's a very relatable person and I just, I just love the way that her character turned out and I'm very proud of her and, or I'm talking about these characters like they're real people, but they're characters. So the next book in the series is a novella about Carter and Shelby. Um, and the main reason why I wanted to do it is because I really wanted more from Carter and Shelby. I missed them. I really wanted to give them their big HEA. Um, mainly because in their book, they are part a lot in their book. And there is a reason for that. A lot happens in Carter's book. And I just felt like they needed a little extra something so I just finished their little novella hoping to release maybe in August or September and you will see the entire family get little pieces of each brother where they're going so it's kind of a stepping stone into the next book which is Clark's book it's not written yet it's not published I'm in the outlining stage of Clark's book Clark is a very complicated character. I wanted to take my time. I wanted to make sure I gave him the best book possible. My husband is in the military, but I have never had experience with the things that he's going to go through. Um, I've never wrote a military romance before, so I am kind of a little nervous about it. So that's why I'm also taking my time as well, because I want to do this book justice. I've a really good idea of where I want to take the book um, and again it may change because that happens a lot as well but I've been thinking about his book for about a year and a half now which brings me to the last book which is Kaysen. Um, I know what I want to happen in Kaysen's book. I know the general idea but that is as far as I've gotten with Kaysen because again, his book is complicated. Um, it is so complex and Kaysen's book will tie in the entire series. What, and what I mean when I say that is when you read Kaysen's book, 
all your questions, all of the little things that have happened in each book with each brother, everything is finally finished. I want to explain that a little more. Yes, each series is a standalone, but there are a few things in each book that is left unanswered. And a lot of people probably overlooked it. There is a big plot twist in Kaysen's book that will finally just click all those little pieces together. And, um, and I really just want to take my time with Kaysen because it is the final book. His book is going to be a little more complicated to write because of the general plot of the book. I just really want to do his book justice as well because Clark and Kaysen are the two most complicated books I have ever written before. Mainly because I've never written anything quite like their books and I just want to make sure that I'm putting out a book that not only am I proud of but something as a reader will enjoy and want to read over and over again. So I want to make sure that I, I do it right. So that is the Harlow Brothers series. I really am looking forward to writing the next book. I'm looking forward to see where the stories go. Every time I write a Harlow book, I'm just like, okay, well, where am I gonna go now? Where are these characters gonna take me? I really enjoy this process. And this is, to me, this is the fun part. This is, you know, the plotting, the writing. These are the parts that I love the most about the series. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to finishing the series. I'm also kind of sad about it because I've been writing the Harlow series for a while. And I'm kind of sad that, you know, the end of the series is coming soon. And I, I don't know how to feel about that. I love the Harlow brothers. I love the family dynamic. I love, you know, just the entire series as a whole. I just... It's gonna be hard to write that final book and be done. So that is it for this video. Um, if you're interested in reading any of the Harlow series, I will leave all the links in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.